Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another fun, fast Tinkercad tutorial. So let's get cracking. Friends, we are going to play with dominoes again. If you have made the stair run, you need to hit duplicate because we are going to reuse it. If you have not made that stair run, that tutorial will be right up here. It is super fast and super slick, and I've got an upgrade. I'm going to start by changing the name Domino Tutorial. I'm going to show you a way to make this turn 180 degrees in an instant. So real quickly, that took a little while to load. I'm going to try and speed it up by making this a part. To do that, you simply bring out all your pieces, go to your creations, and I'm going to call this Domino Stairs. I'm going to put Stairs and press Enter. I never lock the part size even though I'm always going to use this one the same size. And then I'm going to hit Save Shape. Now this should load faster than the other one. Real quickly, I'm going to change the color so I can tell which is which. And then I'm just going to replace them. Shift Select, L for Align. Make that one the boss. And I want Middle. And I want that end. Now I can click on the gray one. So I'll hide the orange one. Perfect. I'm going to hit delete. And then show all. And then I'm going to do control D. Let's mirror it. And then let's do shift select align. Make that one the boss. And bingo, I want it there. And it's in place. I got the gray one, so I can hit delete. And bingo, that should load a lot faster next time. Now I said we're going to turn 180 degrees. I'm going to turn on my grid so we can see what we're building. And let me show you what I mean. I'm going to select this entire side. Notice when I drag down, I am not touching this. I'm going to nudge it out a couple clicks. I'm going to do shift nudge. That wasn't the way I wanted. That's the way I wanted. I'm going to do control D. And I'm going to move the other one this way. And I'm going to go 180 degrees in one step. So I want to come back this way. So this domino is going to tip and send it back this way. Friends, watch how slick this is. Back to your creations. And I'm going to bring out a cylinder. I'm going to shrink it down and type 1. I'm going to bring out another cylinder and set it on top. Because of cruising, that works so darn cool. I'm going to hold down shift and I want you to make a pin that is size 5 and press enter. I'm going to hit F for fit view so I can see that better. I'm going to raise it up. I'm going to make it 10 high. I'm also going to reduce its sides. This helps with the geometry when we're using these. And let's select them, do L for a line. We want middle, middle, and we want to group that. Bingo. Now we're going to create the part that actually knocks our dominoes over. Bring out a cube, hold down shift, shrink it down, type 4, and press enter. We're going to stretch this out, and I'm going to tell you to make it 25, and press enter. Let's select those two, do L for a line, and we want it to be in the middle. And I'm going to tell you to do the middle, but then we're going to nudge it out. Let's set our nudge to 5, and let's go 1, 2, 3, 4, and Control D, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. So those are the pins that are going to knock this over. Shift select, group those, Control D. And let's do shift rotate to rotate it 90 degrees. So those are going to be what makes these tip. We're going to connect them with a tube. Bring your tube out. Once again, we want to set it on the orange one. Reduce its sides to say 12. I'm going to tell you the number we want to type is 1 for the wall thickness. And the radius we're going to type is 7 and press enter. If we do shift select, we can do a line. We want that orange one to be the boss and do middle and middle. Let's adjust it just a tiny bit. Instead of seven, let's do eight. There they connect. And now friends, we're gonna do shift select, shift select, shift select. We're gonna align these to the center. Notice if we look from an angle, that lines up perfect and group. 
now we can move this into place. I'm going to do control up arrow and then over and we want to get this so it's going to hit the top of those dominoes. So that control up is getting it close. Now I am just nudging it to the exact spot where domino one, which is right here, is going to make contact with that pin and push it into that pin, which then is going to rotate this pin. This domino won't work, so we're going to get rid of it. Let's select all of these dominoes and do control up. I'm going to make sure this comes out to the edge. Let's zoom in and make sure it's going to hit. I think that's going to tap there just perfect. So friends, let's test our 180 degree dominoes back to the motion sim. Let's click on our shapes, make sure that they are static. 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 And then we want the orange piece to be static. So that way everything else can move. Of course, now friends, it's time to hit play. There goes the ball. It topples those. And bingo, we have got a 180 degree domino run. How cool is that? Of course, we can hit pause. We can scrub it back. Watch it happen from every angle. Friends, that's the trick. 180 degree domino turn. Now, if you're feeling really talented, you could also set one over here so it'd be doing a 90 degree turn as well. You can go back, forth, you could have them go under. There is so much room for you to make absolutely awesome domino courses. I'm going to let you guys push those levels and I'm hoping you take time to share them with me. Don't forget friends, when you are done with your cool projects, you can come back here click up on the properties give it a cool name of course mine always mentions it has a tutorial that'll be added in a minute give it some tags of course friends if you do hlmt 23 as one of your tags i do check that each day to see the cool designs that are there then of course friends hit public and then i always choose no derivatives because i want you to come up follow the tutorial and gain some epic skills Friends, I do recommend uploading an image. I create my images in Pixlr, and as you can see, it looks a lot cooler. I am also going to set that as the cover image. Friends, after you do that, if you check the gallery, of course, you'll see the amazing staff pics. And if you shut that off, you'll be able to see the latest epic designs. Of course, if you see one you like, make sure you give it a reaction. And after a while, friends, your design will show up in the gallery for people to give a reaction. Friends, I have got an added bonus for you. If you click on the username, you will be transported to that user's complete design gallery. Any design of mine that you click on, of course, will have a tutorial and the reactions are appreciated. If you switch your sort instead to recent, you can see all of the amazing designs. Of course, that gets you to the profile shorts. You can learn about different Tinkercad users each day of the week. And then of course, awesome projects like the Pencil Topper Challenge. Friends, I hope you have a ton of fun with this. Don't forget if you missed the first tutorial, there will be a link above and in the properties of this video. Friends, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, if you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.